The next part of the evaluation is the per is perilaryngeal palpation. Now, I consider this a really significantly important part of the evaluation because I feel like in addition to the laryngeal exam, it really gives you an inside view sort of of how the patient is using their voice. It can be completed at rest and during phonation. We're assessing when we touch the neck, we're ass assessing laryngeal positioning. Is the larynx high in the neck? Or as I say, do they have larynx in the nose syndrome um, because their larynx is so high? Do they have low laryngeal positioning? Are they using their tongue base to push down their larynx? Is the uh, thyrohyoid space present or absent? Is there suprahyoid is there, uh, or submental tension above the hyoid bone in the base of tongue? And is there tension in the strap muscles? The presence or absence of tenderness in these areas gives us further insight into what we're feeling. If a patient, if you touch them lightly on the skin and are, are just locating the, the landmarks in the neck and they jump out of the chair, you have pretty good insight into how much tension they're holding in those muscles.